y'all, welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. I was gonna do a review of Occult Academy, but instead, what should show up in my mail but Gundam Unicorn Episode 2? And I just had to watch it because that's who I am. That's what Gundam means to me. And I'm having a really difficult time putting together a review of this because I love Gundam. And this is a very Gundam heavy anime. There are a lot of references to past Gundam series. That does not mean that if you haven't seen Gundam, you should avoid this. Yes, you will be somewhat lost at some of the references and things like that. You know, yeah, there, there's a lot of, of lore being thrown at you, but I think it's important to not avoid something simply because it's heavily invested in a world. It's kind of like watching Lord of the Rings or Roni Kenshin or things like that where there's other stuff going on. There's backstory to characters and such that isn't immediately revealed. You don't always know exactly why these characters are against each other. And that's very much the case with, with Unicorn. And the problem I'm having is that I loved this so much and I just can't really think of a way of analyzing it or, or of reviewing it other than saying I love that and that and that and that and that and that. It all works together. It helps that the director was the same guy who directed Rurouni Kenshin, which is an extremely well-directed series. And you could tell here. Moreover, it has a movie style budget. I mean, this is an hour's worth of movie quality animation, both in terms of cell count, cheat count, and number of drawings on screen, and in terms of attention to detail. Now, that doesn't mean the character designs are incredibly detailed. It means that characters have very specific facial expressions. You can tell when a character is thinking. You can tell when a character has more going on than they're letting on in their conversation. That's really hard to do in animation. <clears throat> there's, there's story, there's more stuff going on here. I'm not going to do any spoilers as usual, but um, it, you, know, you do need to know that there is more stuff going on here with Full Frontal. Yes, you can get all the laughs out now. And Full Frontal is this second coming of Char character. And we now... This episode does a very good job of revealing more about what that character is and why he's there and what kind of what's going on. There's still mysteries, but it kind of deals with that what the heck is going on element with this character, which I think is really good. It's one of those things that you could easily push off for later and keep it as a mystery, but no, we're going to deal with it head on and then sort of answer the, the big questions later on in terms of, but at least we have something you know, dealt with here. <sighs> Again, I'm having a difficult time organizing my thoughts because this you know, the music is big and bold, but also emotional. It, it fits the series really well. There's intense action sequences. There are throwbacks to Gundam, which is just fun, especially for, for us Gundam fans. Um, but that don't get in the way of this story where a lot happens. There are some lovely scenes here that are sometimes quiet, sometimes intense, sometimes serious. And one thing I really want to mention here is the fact that some of these scenes are... Gundam tends to be very dialogue heavy. It's a lot about characters who are conversing and, and arguing. And that is very much an element of episode two here. And it, it's pulled off very well. It's easy to just have two characters who are arguing back and forth. Anime does this all the time. In Gundam, those conversations are used to reveal character and to reveal philosophy and beliefs about things. Um, not just philosophy in terms of grand things, but how people have outlooks on life. Kai Shiden in Original Gundam is a great example of that, where he had these conversations because he didn't really care about much of anything. And that, you know, how he would talk to people really revealed where he was coming from and why he felt that and how that was changing over time. So this does a lot of that and really does it effectively where you, you feel for these characters and you, you see more about where things are going. I'll also point out that the anime does a, a really interesting job of showing what characters are noticing or not noticing. You have a quick shot of a character glancing over there and a quick shot of something somewhere else and then cutting back and the character then says something. They've noticed this one little thing and you're expected to follow all that. Um, no dialogue to help you and again, it's, it's not like Gundam heavy stuff. It's 
there's a lot of attention to detail in this. It's like a movie. It's like a real, real movie with thought put behind it. And not just thought in terms of how to, how to put it together, but thought in terms of how do we make this interesting and thought-provoking. Gundam is at its best when it challenges us. This challenges me. And it, everything in it, I just... It's not that it has no flaws. It's that everything works together. It's that everything is high quality, for lack of a better phrase. You know, the music works, the voice acting gets across the emotions that it needs to. And I will say, I'm, I'm watching, I watched the Japanese dub, switched over to the English dub to, to listen to the, to the voice acting, and the voice acting has improved somewhat from the first episode. Uh, the, the voice actors are starting to, to feel their characters in the English dub, and the voice of Full Frontal is spot on. Great job there. But in general, that works. Direction, effective, everything about this just works for me. And it's not just because I'm a Gundam fan. There's plenty of Gundam that I, I, I'm not a, I, I don't love. This I love. This was exactly what I was hoping it would be. This is a, a beautiful thing. Not just for a Gundam fan, but for someone who likes things that are a little more than they have to be. And that's a wonderful thing. And I can't wait to watch more of this. I can't wait to rewatch this. And I never rewatch stuff. That's, that's awesome. So if you've seen Gundam Unicorn or haven't and just want to talk about anime and manga in general, please stop by otakunovideo.net where I have a forum and a chat room and all sorts of places where you can talk about stuff. And so I look forward to seeing you there. And until next time, may you see more thought-provoking anime.